The first Game 7 of the 2024 NBA Playoffs is here. The Cleveland Cavaliers and Orlando Magic are wrapping up their first round series on Sunday afternoon, and the winner advances to face the Boston Celtics in the second round. The home team has won every game to date in this series. That includes the Magic's Game 6 victory, which kept their season alive Friday night despite 50 points from Cavs star Donovan Mitchell. Here's everything you need to know about Sunday's Game 7, plus three best bets for the game. Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time Date, Sunday, May 5th Location, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, Cleveland TV Channel, ABC Livestream, Fubo, Try For Free, Odds, Cavs minus 3.5, oh slash you. 194 if you take one piece of betting advice from my columns, it should be to bet game 7 unders. The last 20 game 7s we've seen in NBA postseasons have averaged 196.55 total points. That's higher than this game 7 line, but remember, those games didn't all feature A, 2 top 7 defenses and B, 2 below average offenses. The average game in this series has produced 195.5 points, but when you factor in the typical Game 7 drop, I'm comfortable saying this should be a game played in the 80s or perhaps low 90s in terms of points. The pick. Under 194.5 a number you're going to hear a lot in the lead up to this game and any other Game 7 this postseason is that home teams win roughly 80% of them. That was true at one point in NBA history. It largely hasn't been true lately. In those 20 Game 7s we measured for point totals, the road team has won 11. In all of NBA history before 2018, road teams had only 126 total Game 7s. So broadly speaking, you shouldn't live by the idea that home teams win all Game 7s. Notably, though, the home team has won all six games of this series so far. The Magic were a notoriously poor road team this season, finishing with an 18-23 road record that ranked 19th among the 20 teams that reached the postseason, behind only the 15-26 Atlanta Hawks. Based on the way this series has gone, I just have a hard time imagining the young Magic rising to the occasion in their first ever Game 7. The slightly more experienced Cavaliers should have the edge. The pick. Cavs minus 3.5 My favorite prop in every Game 7 is always going to be a rebounding over. It aligns with picking the under since I tend to expect a bunch of missed shots creating rebounding opportunities. I'll typically take a player from the team I expect to win, but Cleveland's entire front line is a mystery right now because of Jarrett Allen's injury. Instead, I'll lean on Franz Wagner, who is averaging 7 rebounds per game in this series, and who, most importantly, I expect to play a ton of minutes in Game 7. He's averaged a team-best 37.4 in this series, and coaches shorten their benches for Game 7s. So I'm expecting a big game out of Wagner in more Game 7 minutes, and rebounds are my favorite stat given the number of misses I anticipate seeing. The pick. Wagner over 5.5 rebounds by virtue of playing the only Game 7 of the first round. The Cleveland Cavaliers and Orlando Magic will take center stage Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, ABC. Although neither team will be favored to beat the top-seeded Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference semifinals, winning this series would be immensely meaningful for two teams that have spent much of their recent past in the lottery, including both making a top-five pick in 2021. Orlando hasn't won a playoff series since 2010, and while Cleveland is just six years removed from the last of four consecutive trips to the NBA Finals, the franchise's most recent series win that didn't include LeBron James came in 1993. After the two teams traded double-digit home victories in the first four games of the series, the past two finishes have been thrilling. Game 5 saw the Cavaliers survive at home when Evan Mobley blocked Franz Wagner's game-tying attempt in the final seconds. The Magic followed by coming back from a five-point deficit entering the fourth quarter Friday to tie the series and force Game 7 despite a 50-point performance from All-Star Donovan Mitchell. What could decide the outcome of Sunday's game and who advances? Let's break down the key storylines and trends, including the health of Cleveland center Jared Allen. The Cavaliers have played the past two games without Allen, who started a team-high 77 games during the regular season and averaged a career-high 16.5 points per game, up from his 2021-22 All-Star campaign. Allen's absence has helped Cleveland open the floor offensively, including the team's best performance on a per-possession basis in the Game 5 win, but he has been missed defensively. Without Allen patrolling the paint alongside Mobley, 
the Cavaliers' interior defense broke down in the fourth quarter during Game 6. Orlando scored 12 points on 6, 4, 8 shooting in the paint in the fourth quarter and grabbed more offensive rebounds, 5, than Cleveland had defensive boards, 4. A pair of second chances in the final two minutes helped the Magic maintain their lead and close out the must-win game. Cavaliers coach J.B. Bickerstaff is simply running out of reliable options, as well. After starting wing Isaac Okoro in Allen's place during Game 5, Bickerstaff went with bigger veteran Marcus Morris Sr. for Game 6. Morris, who had 12 points off the bench in Game 5, finished with 2 in 27 minutes on 1, 4, 7 shooting Friday. Only three Cleveland players scored more than four points as its offense relied heavily on Mitchell, who joined Michael Jordan in Game 6 of the 1998 NBA Finals as the only players in NBA history to score more than half of their team's points, 50 of Cleveland's 96, in an elimination game, according to ESPN Stats and Information Research. Mitchell scored all 18 Cleveland points during the fourth quarter as Orlando rallied to win. Alas, Allen was ruled out for Game 7 not long before tip-off. His return would have helped, if only for limited minutes when Mobley is off the court to give the Cavaliers a more potent option than veteran Tristan Thompson. Meanwhile, the Magic played Game 6 without starting guard Gary Harris because of a right hamstring strain. His absence, along with Cleveland's improved floor spacing, helped Cavaliers guards Mitchell and Darius Garland get going. They combined for 52 points in the paint Friday, double their total in their previous best game in the series, Game 5. Paolo Banchero, Jalen Suggs, and Franz Wagner combined for 75 of the Magic's 103 points to force a Game 7 versus the Cavaliers. More so than the Magic's leading scorer, all-star Paolo Banchero, Wagner has been a bellwether in this series. Wagner has averaged a team-high 25.3 PPG in Orlando's three wins on 58% shooting to go along with 7.7 .7 RPG and 4.7 APG with just one total turnover in the three games. The Magic are plus, 65 with Wagner on the court in their three wins. In Orlando's three loss.